Um, so I'm glad you're here today. Uh, I think genetic testing is going to be a good option. Um, but what I want to do is just go through and get some of your family history. Courtney Devaney meets with licensed certified genetic counselor Megan Ensinger of Ohio Health. But she didn't have to drive her normal two hours to Columbus to see her. Instead, Courtney is near her home at Oblendis Hospital in Athens, Ohio. And if we do find that you've inherited something like that, we can start making some changes. Thanks to a grant from the Verizon Foundation, Courtney and Megan talk by video conference. Genetic counseling is really an important part of a multidisciplinary approach to cancer treatment and surveillance. Courtney is worried about breast cancer. Her mom died of it. Her grandma had it twice. Cancer is also scattered through my dad's side as well. Courtney, who has shown no signs of cancer, wants to know if she has inherited a gene mutation that puts her at increased risk of getting breast cancer for the first time. But if someone is born with a BRCA mutation, that risk is anywhere from 50 to 85 percent. Megan takes a family history, discusses implications of testing, and arranges for testing to be completed. If the lab finds a gene mutation linked to cancer, Megan says there may be early and increased screenings or other preventative options, since the sooner cancer is diagnosed, the better the chance for survival and can have an impact on their family members if they're also found to have mutations. Courtney learned that she did not inherit the BRCA mutation previously identified in her family. Seeing the negative result was probably the most overwhelming and relieving feeling I've ever had in my entire life. Courtney wrapped up the results and gave them to her grandmother for Christmas. She usually doesn't like Christmas presents, but I knew this one she really would. Courtney even videotaped it on her cell phone. Right? Yeah. She cried. Grandma cried and cried. She urges others to try genetic counseling, especially now, since connectivity keeps patients and their Ohio Health medical team within even easier reach. It's definitely a relief and it feels great.